Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CG of video. Today we will make this cool effect. Looks nice. It's very simple and very easy to make. I will make everything from scratch in this tutorial. So even a beginner can learn from this tutorial. You will learn how to make materials, how to make emitters, add lights, glow, everything in this tutorial. So let's dive in. So let's start this. So I have this scene with this character. So first we need to make a material for the ring. So I'll just, I have lots of rings and lots of rings tutorial already. So there are lots of ways to make the ring. So what I'll do here, I'll just make this transparent and lit and let to side we will just use ms7 opacity then we'll just take the radial and this is the radial and to make the ring out of this radial i'll just use a sign and then this is a ring but this is sharp from one side faded from one side so make the sign too so it will be faded from both sides but the thickness is high that you can control using density or you can just use power here so after that, I'll just multiply a noise texture with this just to erode this. And for that, I'll just take a noise or just take this aura texture. And this aura texture should also be like radial. So what I'll do, vector to radial, this node. Just multiply it for the tiling and connect this here. And it's now radial okay you can use it as it is or you can just make changes in the tiling so first i will just multiply both together and then connect it here to just to show you so it will be like we will have noise on this so to change the thickness i will put one power here and to erode it with noise i will just use one power here okay so i'll just take the dynamic parameter just for now this is my dissolve and this is my thickness okay so I'll call it dissolve and this is thickness so if i make thickness like 10 you can see it's decreasing the thickness more the value thickness will be lesser and then with this we can dissolve it like this okay and i'll also let's add random offset so you can just use particle random so every particle will have a random offset of this texture so they will not look same some will have different kind of pattern here okay you can also make a parameter then randomize in the niagara so now i'll take the particle color that will go here and this thing will go in the opacity and we are done with this okay so i'll just save it and here and just save i'll take the niagara So right click take a minimal emitter and then I need uh, some particles so and they should spawn just once. So in here in the state just make the self and once then take the burst and maybe I need 5 particles for now and I need this so I'll just use that here okay I'll take the dynamic parameter I set the default settings 1 maybe 5 so we have this okay and dissolve it like this then this is camera facing i will make this facing the z because if i'll show you let me just make it local and i'll drag it here first it's very small so we can make it bigger from here let's say this is 200 and it's camera facing right so it should be around the character so what i'll do here in the sprite render make this custom alignment custom facing vector then take align to mesh orientation by default it will align on x axis okay see x axis we need z axis so make the x axis 0 and z axis 1 
like this. But we have five particles which is overlapping each other. We need some position offset. You can do th two things. You can add offset in the z axis here or just take the shape location. Take slender, make the radius zero, and we have just height which is 10. So, which is 100, sorry. So, in this height, these five particles will randomly uh, distribute it. Okay. Now, let me see how it looks. Okay. Should be down here. Okay, cool. Now, I'll take the size sprite and it should scale quickly, maybe at point. Or just I'll just make it like this. Make the life maybe random 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, and size I'll make random, which is 200 right now, 200 and 400. Cool, but these should dissolve and so I'll just dissolve these so with the dynamic parameter this value first let me check at which value the, these are dissolving and there is a seam here if you can see that line here go here select this and use mimic level save this again that seam will go okay that's gone so let me see it's 6 now and at around 50 it's gone so i'll just make a curve here and maybe at point 3 it's 5 not 6 and then at 1 it's 50. okay so now if i'll show you this is how it looks i want to make them even bigger maybe 500 and 700 cool i will also let me just in the dissolve i don't want these to dissolve quickly so i'll make this curve like that so it will take some time to dissolve cool and this should rotate also so i'll just add rate and let's say 200 let me see how it looks looks good i'll just randomize it so 200 and 300 some will rotate faster cool now we can of course change the color so i'll just go random not random this and take the color maybe orangish and see we have some already variation because of the hue shift and in the brightness also, I will make some really bright. But this should not bright for all the time. So I'll take the scale color. Make this float. Make this curve. Initially these are 1. At point 2, these are point 2. And then at 1, it's 0. So they will quickly reduce the brightness. Cool. One more thing I would like to do is maybe yeah the thickness in the dynamic parameter which is now five I want at the end they should be like hundred so at point three it's five at one it's hundred so they will also change the thickness. But I guess this is not looking very good. So we can just make this curve like this. So it will not change quickly. Yeah, now it looks good. And then I will just duplicate this. Make the thickness maybe lower. Maybe I'll take this 10. So in this one, thickness will is 10. 
I'll make these little more bigger, maybe 1.3 and shorter, maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.2. So basically we have two variation. First is very fast and then we have some slow. Looks cool, right? Then I just want to add a glow here. For that, we just need a radial, but with depth fade also, that there should be depth fade in the radial. Let me just search. Okay. So we have radial, which has also depth fade. Quite simple, ignore this. This is just a hue I use for another tutorial. Very simple material. Okay, it has this depth. So I'll use this here. I'll duplicate this one more time. This time change the material and I don't want these thing. It should be camera facing. Okay, and there should be no rotation. Size is scaling up, color should be maybe just one not very bright let me see how it looks yeah very cool it just it's very big i guess so size maybe i'll make it back to one life maybe 0 0.3 0 0.1 and see how it looks yeah i think it should be like 0 0.15 0 0.05 very short life yeah And they should also on the ground so i'll just copy this one more time actually i need that alignment again so i'll just use this custom alignment custom facing vector align to mesh orientation on the axis let me check it now but this should be a little bit down actually it has the slender i'll delete it actually it has also slender that i will delete I don't need that. First, let me check the previous one. Yeah, cool. And I will actually, in this, we have five particles. So I'll use camera offset and randomize it. Some particle will be in front of character. See, now character looks, it's inside there. Now, in this one, let me check this. I need to just move it a little up, maybe five because it has that fade 20 yeah now it looks fine and i'll make it little bigger maybe 1.2 and let me see here now so we have glow on the ground and that glow on the ground should have more life 0.5 0.2 Looks cool. I will also, I think, add some sparks kind of thing. Let me just save it. Now I will duplicate this one again, which is below this one. I'll make the size maybe 5 and 2, on maybe 200 just for now. And then location, and I'll take the torus. And maybe live 0 0.5, 0 0.3, right? And then I will add vortex force actually. We don't have velocity anymore. So make this. So as you see. Let me see with all the elements. Should go out a little bit. And I will use velocity align. I'll use 
size by speed maybe 5 and 10 and this size maybe 2 and 1 point 1 yeah. we can also add lights in this emitter if you want we are make it 50 maybe 5 and that looks nice very simple effect yet it looks nice one more thing i'll do i'll duplicate this one more time and i'll delete the lights make this actually cylindrical and On maybe the spectrum type one. I want some particle to remain at the end. Yeah, right. I can make them smaller first. So, if you see that from other view, maybe top looks nice, but the position of my effect is not the same. So, I'll select this copy and I'll select effect or just I'll move it here. I think this looks nice. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.